Let's talk about uh, your live performances, right? Yeah. You've done a couple here and there. Yeah, I've uh, done, I think, about three live you've done performances. done three? Yeah. Okay. Have they all been at the school? Yeah, they've all actually... Well, I've... Yeah, they've all been at the school. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, how uh, how do they go? Are they are they giving you full sets or are they just like a couple uh, songs here and there? Yeah, I get like the like a thirty minute set. Okay. You know, typically, and then like I do like six songs. It's not bad at yeah. all. Yeah, it's pretty good. Right? Are you yeah. doing it at the showcases or at the? Um, we have the limelight sessions going mm-hmm. on in Norco. Okay. So like every so often during college hours, we have like that time dedicated to just performers, well, artists in the Norco. Program. Right. So it's it'll be like we normally do like um, two openers and then the headliner. Mm-hmm. So the last limelight session I was the headliner. So I performed like six songs in that thirty minute set and it was pretty chill. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, man. It's definitely like good for experience. Of course, you gotta get it in because you yeah, know. Yeah, you definitely gotta. You gotta get, get, get it in because you yeah. get scared on stage. If, yeah. If you get scared on stage in front of like ten people. Yeah. No, what are you gonna do when you're in front of a couple yeah, hundred or exactly. so? You know what I mean? thousands yeah exactly exactly yeah. trust me i've had that experience when i first started mad scared yeah got on stage scared yeah but you know as soon as the music hits and you're on the you're on there got the yeah. mic it all kind of just goes away it clicks yeah. yeah which is good it means you meant to be there man yeah yeah um so let's go a little bit into uh your song writing process you start with uh I'm guessing you start off with just the the guitar part, yeah, right? Yeah, I typically start off with guitar. And then you and then write your songs to what you've already played? Or do you have songs in mind while you're writing the uh, instrumental part? Um, No, I yeah, I definitely write my songs to what, like, you have? what okay. I have. Yeah, well, like, when when everything was fresh, like mm-hmm. in the breakup, like, lyrics would just come. I would right. just write, and it would just, the song would, like, write itself. But now it's like, I think of a topic, and then I have to, like, draw from the experiences i've had and just like put everything together so mm-hmm. it's a little bit harder to write now mm-hmm. but back in the days these songs they were just like writing themselves right, like right. they were so fresh you know well you gotta get out there man we'll get your heart yeah, broken I again i do i got it that's what you gotta do definitely. you gotta yeah. meet somebody but like, hey what's going on yeah and then just get shut down a thousand <laughs> times yeah, trust me that's what, what i do that's how that's I get shut down at least five times a day. That's why I got like a thousand songs. (laughs) That's what's up. That's what's up. No one has heard any of them, but I got them. Yeah. Right. The the heartbreak has its upsides. Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. Exactly. I mean, if we're artists, if we don't have a way to get it out, it's just going to stay inside and that's not good. Get that shit out. We got to get those happy songs out there too. I mean, of course. Of course. Some some random. You got to get it in. No, the best part is, is just write a stupid song. Yeah. If you ever feel like just being dumb, write it. Write it. Yeah. Yeah, no, I wrote a song about boobs. Yes, what's up? And it's the greatest <laughs> song ever. I've never recorded it. I want to record it, but I just don't know how that song would, yeah, you know, work. Yeah. I've written a song about like cigarettes, sharks. Um, <laughs> probably I've written songs about birds. Um, n- nothing too, nothing too ridiculous at yeah. this point, but. I'm definitely like I'll have jam sessions with my friends, and nice. that's when the ridiculous stuff comes. Yeah. Cause it, it doesn't matter what comes out; yeah, we're just no. jamming, you know. But nothing too serious. I've never written something too, too deep and like mm-hmm. well put together that was just like about tacos or something. You know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta get emotional about them tacos. Yeah, bro. definitely. Taco like when Tuesday. you spill them tacos. <sighs> yeah, right. It feels real. Let's just write that song right now. Right. Taco Tuesday. Right. No yeah. worse. Worst thing, you get a burrito, you get to that bottom of it, and it's just all tortilla. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking worst. about? Yeah, no. I know you know what I'm talking can't, about. We can't have that. It's the worst. It's so horrible. That, that deserves a breakup song. Oh, yeah. Like, call that R.I.P. Chipotle. Yes. All right. So, uh, let's talk about the songs you're going to do for us tonight. Yeah. All right. So, I'm going to be doing a song called Misunderstandings, mm-hmm. Don't Look Down, and what's the third one? Uh, Something in the Moon. Meet me on the moon. Meet me on yeah, the moon. Meet yeah. me on the moon. There you go. Yeah, meet me yeah. on the moon. Misunderstandings and don't look down. I, first of all, I love meet me on the moon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you sent them to me the other day. Too, I've yeah. been jamming out to it for Heck like the yeah. past two days. It's uh well like a lot of people like it's kind of like a like a death cap for cutie vibe like the alpha. Yeah. You no, I die, get that. Like, I totally get it. It's that. like like after I die, where I want to go. You know, right. it's like just having that. Just having a blanket on the moon, waiting for somebody. Yeah. yeah. No, I love it. It's a great song. You, um, you know, uh, you, you mentioned Death Cat for Cutie, you know, uh, yeah. Death Cat for Cutie. Yeah. Um, do you take, you know, the artists that you're listening to, uh, like their styles, 
Do you take that into your own styles? Um, uh, somewhat. I think I have a really soft voice, so mm-hmm. just having like that song to like reference, sort mm-hmm. of. I mean, I didn't reference the song when I wrote the song, right. but it's just having the idea of this soft voice kind of like mm-hmm. feel like kind of like the afterlife feel right it's nice to have that like inspiration to draw from mm-hmm. but i didn't take much from it right you know i try to make it my own right no i feel you yeah but uh you know somebody told me i forgot who it was but usually the artist that you are is a reflection of of the music that you listen to. Yeah. So even without knowing, you're probably, you know, yeah. writing songs like no, yeah. that. When, well, when I was, yeah, when, when I was writing these songs, a lot of the stuff I was listening to was like Ed Sheeran, James yeah. Bay, like Sam I was going to ask like you, you were talking about the hip hop song or that you kind of, was that yeah, more of an Ed Sheeran was, style? That was, yeah, probably a little bit Ed Sheeran, but I've always, my brother was super into like hip hop and break dancing. Mm-hmm. So I've always had that like, like for rapping and stuff and like hip hop. And, like, I like freestyling and stuff here and there. Like, mm-hmm. it's just fun to me. So, like, writing that was yeah, was just yeah. a good See, refresher. Get out there, spit some rhymes, people. Heck do yeah. it. Heck yeah. But don't do it too well, because then you'll take my job. That's true. <laughs> Misunderstandings If we could just talk this through But you don't like talking You've heard what you wanted to Twenty-one calls from me Nothing from you What hurts the most You think you know, you think you know Asking you to see with your soul If you close your eyes, can you feel all the heat in your veins? Can you feel the heat, can you feel all the heat in your core? You wouldn't say you hate me To my face, to my face You know the truth as well as I do Let's have a face to face before it fades Save what left of the summertime mess Oh, what a mess What hurts the most You think you know, you think you know
hurts the most You think you know the truth I'm asking you to see I'm asking you to see With your soul If you close your eyes Can you feel the heat In your veins Can you feel the heat Can you feel the heat And with that, you made it to stage two, but don't trip. We got one more on Friday. Uh, like, rate, subscribe. Deuces.